It's always good to be a uh, source of good news, and the good news is, is that Texas water quality and Texas beaches uh, have dramatically improved in the last, since the last reporting period. Now, why that occurs, I can't exactly tell you. It has to do, as Kara pointed out, with storm runoff, particularly in agriculture areas or coastal areas or areas where there may be septic systems instead of uh, wastewater treatment plants. Uh, but the land office uh, for the last uh, almost two years has uh, offered a, has implemented a program called Texas Beach Watch. TexasBeachWatch.com is the website. Uh, you can go to TexasBeachWatch.com, roll the cursor to any location on the Texas Gulf Coast, and get a report of the water quality on that particular location. You can sign up uh, and get updated emails on your favorite beaches across Texas so the public will know the good news or bad news as it relates to Texas beaches. Uh, we test in, in our water uh, quality uh, sampling for Enterococcus bacteria, which is an indicator of, of animal or human waste that made it into uh, the public waters. So that is something that can make you extremely we ill. We no impact from the deep water spill as far as uh, impact to our beaches. Uh, and I doubt seriously that we will, particularly now that the well is capped and not discharging into the Gulf. So I can't imagine. That's the good news. Not been good news in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, but in Texas, it's extremely good news. We've had no impact. Uh, measurable.